today's Friday. It's usually when I meditate a little bit and kind of clear my head over this long and stressful week. It's also kind of great to embrace the quiet and embrace the calm. <laughs> All new Tonight Show at Home Edition starts now. You're upside down. You're upside down. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Uh, what a uh, what a long week it's kind of been. But thank you so much for tuning in and watching our show and uh, giving to all these great charities. Uh, a couple of people have asked if I am giving to these charities as well. And yes, my family is donating to every charity that we've mentioned so far during these shows. And thank you so much. Every amount counts. So I really appreciate that. And... Uh, Man, it's been a really interesting week. Uh, day 15, is it? Day 15, and uh, I just want to say first off, Hoda, I feel you, buddy. Um, uh, and everyone's just uh, showing their creative ways of dealing with this and being so kind to each other out there, and I want to say thank you for that. Um, I miss my crew and everybody uh, back at the show, but everyone helping us here, I am so proud of this team. Thank you, everyone involved in The Tonight Show, and thank you to my neighbors, by the way. Uh, I, I've been getting a bunch of uh, drawings from kids uh, saying that what their favorite bits are and thanking me for doing the show, and today I got an edible arrangement, and I didn't even know they do this. It was just a box of vegetables. I didn't know they do that. It wasn't arranged at all. It was just a really nice fresh vegetables from uh, Anonymous, from a, a neighbor that said, thank you so much for the shows you're doing. You're making us uh, feel happier and, and calming me down. So something like that. Thank you for whoever sent that and didn't want credit. I, I want to give you credit. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. Um, now I'd like to do some monologue jokes that have really go over, they go over really well. <laughs> so here we go. Show you what I'm walk in. Hey everybody, welcome to the Tonight Show at Home Edition. Well, it's Friday night and the weekend is here. If you're bummed that you're stuck inside, just imagine that you have two brunches, a kid's birthday party, and a dance recital to go to. That is getting pots and pans banging everywhere. People are applauding for that joke. I really need to get out. I watch so much TV that I've now memorized the entire William Shatner sleep apnea commercial. William Shatner here. You know, I've been using a CPAP machine for over 10 years, and it's made a world of difference to me. Uh, seriously, though, I'm watching so much TV today, I accidentally called my daughters Kendall and Kylie. I'm so desperate to get outside. I mean, when someone throws one item in the garbage, I bag it up and take it out to the trash can. BRB! Be right back! Uh, I'm really running out of ways to stay entertained. Last night, I left our back door open and prayed raccoons would come in. Things are getting a little crazy at the house. This afternoon, I went into the bathroom and caught my Roomba in the dark watching Wally. Someone's in here. He told, he, my Roomba told me to knock. I saw that Hallmark is giving away one million free cards so people can send notes to loved ones. That's really great, because if there's one thing we need right now, it's people touching licked envelopes. And finally, I saw a poll that said men are less likely to follow social distancing guidelines than women which means a year from now, the only people on earth will be four billion women and Dr. Fauci. That's tonight's monologue. <laughs> I, got a, I got a little camera shake there. Um, tonight's guests are Tina Fey, who I just love. I've known her forever now from Siren Live, and she used to write for me, then we were Weekend Update partners, and then you know, the rest is, she's amazing. Um, uh, I thank her so much. She's going to be talking about cityharvest.org. We're also going to talk to Chef... Jose Andres, who is just awesome. He's on the cover of Time Magazine right now for what he's doing with World Central Kitchen, WCK.org. That's his charity. And uh, we'll be talking about everything that he's going on. I think he's going to be in his kitchen. Um, I want to quickly first give a congrats to uh, our pal. If you can see it here. Kamal. Kamal had a baby Kamal. boy. Come on, we Yay! love you guys. Oh my gosh, congratulations to the whole fam. Beautiful baby boy. Uh, that's the best news ever, man. That baby just makes everyone happy. So that is awesome, buddy. I miss uh, you so much. Come on, I miss everyone in the roots. Uh, in fact, we got together and uh, through Zoom and uh, technology and 
made a little song because right now I think everyone feels like we're a little stuck in the middle. Please enjoy. One, two, three, hit it! Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tonight Show at Home Edition. Uh, today is Friday and that's usually when I, you know, check my inbox, return some emails, and of course I send out thank you notes. Uh, and I have my, my buddies here helping me out today. So I'd like to write out some, week, some thank you notes right now. That's okay. Okay, okay but... Friend. <laughs> okay. Um, Francis, you know your job, right? Thank you, showers for once being a routine part of my day and now feeling like a major accomplishment. Um, okay. Thank you, getting food delivery, for suddenly making me feel like I'm a spy intercepting an elaborate drop. The hamburgers are in the hole. I repeat, the hamburgers are in the hole. <laughs> All right, just press the purple one, that's good. Thank you, journals, for now reading less like a diary and more like a captain's log after being lost at sea. All right, here we go. Just the purple one. Just this one. I got that. Yep. <laughs> Thank you, socks, for being the new shoes. That one now. Just a stranger. <laughs> Thank you, journals for now reading less like a diary and more like a captain's log after being lost at sea. That's good, we can go to the next one. It's definitely Friday around here. Thank you. Making shows from home for making me feel like I got a promotion from talk show host to YouTube star. Don't forget to smash that like button. Next one. Thank you, K 
couch for really stepping up during this difficult time to become a desk, table, bed, bookshelf, and trash can. Thank you, Dr. Anthony Fauci, listening to Trump for looking like me when someone suggests a 9 a.m. Zoom meeting. Thank you, 40 minute limit on free Zoom software. Seriously, thank you, thank you, thank you. 40 minutes is enough. That's good. Thank you, Welp, for being the official slogan of wrapping up a phone call during quarantine. <laughs> thank you, Virtual Happy Hours, for being a great rebranding for drinking alone. And that's our thank you notes right there. Thank you to Winnie, thank you to Franny, and thank you to my wife for <laughs> operating this camera. We'll be right back with Tina Fey, everybody. I got to catch up with one of my favorite people today from her apartment in Manhattan. Here is Tina Fey. Tina Fey, welcome to the Tonight Show at Home Edition. Uh, I love you, buddy. You're looking great. Thank you so much for doing this. I appreciate it so much. <laughs> My pleasure, pal. It's good to see you. Great to see you as well. And where, where are you? Are you in Manhattan still? I'm in Manhattan. Uh, we're holed up in our apartment here in New York City. And so far, so good. We're yeah. doing what we're supposed to do. How uh, are the girls? They're doing pretty well. They, um, they didn't like going outside anyway. So uh, <laughs> I was it's always like perfect for them. dragging them outside. They're like, or stay in here and play all the screens that we want. I'm like, fair enough. Your kids are pretty creative, uh, from what I know. I, I, I heard that they were, they, they thought of an interesting way to have dinner at your house? Yes, this was awesome. Uh, and I, I wanted to tell you about it because I feel like it's something you can do, anyone can do at home uh, if they're trying to fill time. My older daughter, Alice, is 14 now, and she saw this idea online. So thank you to whoever put this idea online originally. But she was saying, like, we should do theme dinners. And we did one the other night, and it was an airplane theme dinner. And... <laughs> The thing that was great about it was it took a lot of time, right, for them to get ready. Also, I don't know if your girls are this way, but Alice was actually kind of helping her little sister get ready for it. And the little sister is like so pumped when her big sister pays attention to her at all. Oh, yeah. She was just like pumped. <laughs> and they dressed up like, well, she can all be dressed up like a stewardess. Here, let me find these pictures. I'll show them to you. It was really cute. Um, that is hilarious. She dressed up like a stewardess. They did a whole, like, um, I don't know if you can hear this, but like a whole safety. Uh, on your chair. If we lose air pressure in the cabin, so the air masks will fall from and the cabin And the whole safety thing. Uh, we'll <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, they had, even they turned all the chairs. There were, like, um, I'm getting a text. There were um, magazines in the back of the chair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is brilliant. They had, we had dinner. They, um. Uh, they served it on like big old trays, which was good. Like, my husband made, um, we had, well, we had macaroni and cheese and spam, but it was on the trays. <laughs> and then also they were, because they were treating us like a really nice plate. They were like, would you like a glass of wine? And we were like, yes. And the great thing was afterwards, they were like, we didn't know um, how much wine was too much. And I was like, yeah, you didn't. Cause this was the... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. An ample first class pour. I want them at my dinner party. Um, she put an airplane window on our TV and I wore a sleep mask and that's, that's <laughs> for the next 18 months. That's me. That's, <laughs> that's Quarantina. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty good. Um, oh, also, by the way, the last thing I'll say about airplane dinner, the other reason to do it is once the, your seatbelts are on and everything's done, the dinner part is everyone sitting quietly if you have enough phones, everyone watching a movie on their own device. Genius. It will be the quietest dinner. <laughs> <laughs> it is absolutely genius. Uh, it's great. Uh, thank you to the internet for that. Um, yeah, the other thing that we did, uh, which was super fun, we did a thing, um, we did an online talent show with uh, my, our kids, a bunch of us, um, over this very technology. We used Zoom. Uh, and um, so if you have a, a Zoom work account, you should definitely abuse it and use it for other things. Um, so it was like my ladies, my Rudolph's kids, Amy Poehler, Emily Spivey, um, uh, Anna Gasper's kids, and we 
it, again, another thing that was nice about it was it took about a week. Uh, we were sort of like, guys, probably this weekend, probably there's a talent show. So you've got to think about what you're going to do. So there'd be times where I would be screaming like, get off of your screens, go practice for the talent show. And it would kind of work. Wow. So everyone really brought it. Uh, and then the other thing that was super cute was we realized kind of like in the half hour before that we could probably get links to all uh, or as many as we could of the grandparents. And so right when we went to do it, it was like, um, my mom was able to get on Amy's parents, um, Emily's Spivey's parents in North Carolina. And it was so cute. Uh, Shoemaker watched it. <laughs> from no Emily. way. Like, I, I'll watch it. I have nothing to do. Um, friends of mine in Florida. Uh, and so everyone, it was so sweet to see everyone like come together on the zoom and Archie Arnett, Amy's son, Archie, uh, was the host. He did an awesome job. Um, <laughs> Rome Spivey did, uh, he did a sketch that was an old Emily Spivey's cut for cut for time sketch about like a, an ad for a barbecue place. And it was like, come on down to our barbecue. And he committed, it was so cute. Um, Ulysses McKittrick did um, close up magic. Uh, no way. Penelope did, uh, Penelope is uh, using this time to practice contortionism. Cause she's, uh, cause why, wow. would she? why, cause why wouldn't she find a way to make us nervous the whole time? So she does some like, <laughs> But it, the, and the first 27 minutes, I recorded the whole thing. The first 27 minutes of the one hour thing is just old people not understanding when they're muted. Oh. <laughs> it's, like, it's like Emily Spivey's dad being like, oh, I don't know. I think I started. And then it's like. <laughs> it's Are we on yet? Are we on yet? <laughs> Mr. Polar just like. <laughs> it, it's, it was the best. And I, if anyone, if you have the capability to do it, it, it was super fun. Oh, that's, that's great. Uh, I, uh, I think we have a little clip we can just show right here real quick. This is the end of Penelope doing her. She did some contortion to uh, these boots are made for walk-in. The audio wasn't terrific, but you can kind of get a feel for, for the vibe of, of the thoughts, the first online talent show. Bravo! Good job. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. Hey, that was fantastic. Tell Penelope I said she is awesome. She is very her. talented. Please tell her. Um, I, I know with this whole uh, uh, COVID-19 quarantine shutdown, Broadway has been shut down. And uh, your, your show, Mean Girls, is currently off. How is everyone doing and dealing over there? Yes, I mean, uh, that was hard. That's a whole huge industry. It's a huge part of New York. Um, it's a workplace for so many people. I've been trying to uh, do stuff to help raise money for the Actors Fund, um, in addition to the City Harvest stuff we're gonna talk about today. But um, it, it's, it's rough because it's, um, it, it's a lot of people, it's a giant industry, but we are just all kind of sticking together. Um, also our tour, Mean Girls was out on tour and that is paused and we look forward to you know, add it when it's safe to do so, hopefully adding those cities back that we missed. Um, but yeah, we had a meeting yesterday, just, the, it's a very close knit community and we're just want to come out the other side stronger. And we, when it's safe to come back, we will be there and we will welcome you back. And um, I think we, I, oh, I hope there's some kind of like, I love New York campaign, like the seventies. Uh, uh, like that. We need that when it, when it's safe to do so, we'll, we'll be here and Ready oh, to I love it. I love New York. Like Frank Langella dressed like Dracula. <laughs> That's right. Um, but you know, our Mean Girls, at, like at Mean Girls Broadway, our social channels, like we're trying to give people content and let them check in if they're fans of the show. There's always stuff to see there. And um, well, whatever we can do to support when you come back, uh, we will please. Because I'm put you in the in the I Love New York commercial. Yeah, exactly. I would totally. Let's talk about uh, cityharvest.org. Yeah. This is a. Uh, Thank Winnie's you. Get, Winnie does all these graphics and Winnie? yeah, but these, they're getting smaller and kind of less creative. <laughs> she's as, getting tired of it. Yeah, she doesn't want to work. She's like, doesn't like her new job. I'm like, come on, to help me out a little bit, please. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, City Harvest, they're fantastic. You've done stuff with them before, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I mean, I've just been a donor with them before and uh, they're, they're a really well-established uh, charity here in New York City. I figured this problem is so big. Sometimes it feels uh, good to think locally. Um, and I encourage people to do so around the country um, to support organizations near them too. But you know, New York City is the epicenter of this right now. It looks calm when you and I talk. 
it's calm to see people in their homes who are well, but there are so many people who are in hospitals right now. There are so many people who are toughing it out at home who are super sick, who ordinarily would go to the hospital uh, who can't right now. And City Harvest is, uh, is a charity that gets food, healthy food to um, at-risk neighborhoods and places where they don't have great uh, ways to get nutritious food. And they're currently up and running. Their, their mobile markets are going. They're, they're, they're still able to be helping out. And so I think um, also not just right now, but whenever this settles down, the economic repercussions of this are going to be major. And there's going to be a lot of people, a lot of kids who count on their school meals, who are now homeschooled. There's going to be a lot of people who are in need of their services. And I really encourage, I thank you for inviting me to talk about it. And I encourage people to donate. These people are uh, angels that are yeah. helping everyone out. And uh, uh, if right now, if anyone's watching on YouTube, there's a donate button next to it. So just click that button and you'll donate. Anything matters, everything. Just give a dollar, give 50 cents. It's, it's, I can't even stress how uh, awesome that is that, that, that we can just do that. And it will, it will feed so many people you have no idea so thank you for this is a great charity thank you so much for doing this i really appreciate it and on behalf of everyone watching the show they all appreciate it too so thank you uh, while we're all quarantined and cooped up at home um i like to play a game uh based on a board game that you can actually play called uh -oh. Oh. Someone oh, should, make... probably have told you there's a japanese water ghost in my house what is my house is pretty haunted and just sometimes <laughs> sometimes a specter you can't even quite. Oh, there. Oh, gosh. Wow. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Freaky. Help me. Hey. I don't see anything, Tina. I think you're just. Do you want to show that you have a human face? Oh, <laughs> uh, hi, cutie. Oh, that was a good. <laughs> that was a good bit. I just wanted to come because I know she has a history of being, being creepy around you. <laughs> <laughs> she does, but all funny stuff and creative stuff. She came to the dressing room one time and she drew like really creepy, scary pictures and left them. Jimmy I was, was like, um, was it was like dead birds and stuff, right? It's just, it's, <laughs> she's a Wednesday Adams. I love her. Oh, dude, Winnie's obsessed with uh, Wednesday. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so we're going to play this game. Uh, it's something I saw on the internet, but it's a board game. It's called Hey Robot. Okay. And what it is, is I'm going to have a bunch of random words in a jar and okay. I'm going to pick one out and then you have to ask Alexa, which is right here, or whatever speaker you have in your house, uh, you have to say something to get the robot to guess the word. So, okay. but you can't say the word, but you understand the idea. It's like taboo and all that stuff. That word and all that. Yeah, all right, so. I have such a wimpy voice that sometimes, even in my own house, the Alexa ignores me, so I'll do my best. Sometimes I'll be like, Alexa, set a timer, and she's just like, <laughs> Alexa! <laughs> Please! You're slapping, you like clapping. Hey, Alexa, I asked you. <laughs> All right, ready? Here's your first word. Okay, so the funny thing is I have to take my glasses off to see better. <laughs> okay. Oh, I, I'm getting there too, all right. Oh it gosh. Is, it okay. is pickle. Okay. Oh gosh. Let me know when you're ready and I'll, 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 I'll press the Alexa button. Um, oh, uh, sure, I mean, press it whenever. All right, here we go, ready? Okay. Alexa. What's a recipe for salted, marinated cucumbers? Okay, for salted, marinated cucumbers, I recommend marinated cucumber, onion, and tomato salad, two hours, 15 minutes to make. What would you like? Start recipe. <laughs> Send it to your phone? No. Nope. Or here, next recipe. Oh, that's your turn. All right, it goes to you. I like to stop. Um, Right, here we go. I'm going to do, uh, oh, oh, I know. Alexa, what does Vlasic make? Here's something I found on the web. According to wikipedia.org, Vlasic pickles is an amazing Yeah, that counts. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Alexa, stop. Um, all right, here we go. Now, uh, let's try another one here. Ooh. Oh. Saxophone. Okay. Ready? Yep. Alexa, Alexa, what instrument does Bill Clinton play? See, they can never hear me. Sure. 
God. Let me know. She, she couldn't hear you, but let me know. Weird ghost voice. That's weird. <laughs> am, am I not real? Have I never been? Am I? Have I always been the caretaker? Right, okay. I'll, I'll try it again. Ready? Here we go. Uh, Alexa, what instrument does Bill Clinton play? Saxophone. Yo! Answer your question. First thing out of the gate. That is the best one yet. Crusher. <laughs> yes. All right. Thanks for your feedback. All right, cool. Very polite. All right, uh, that was killer. Oh my God, that was, the first, that was the first word you said. You'd probably get bonus points for that. I'll give it to you. Okay. Uh, okay, here's my word. Okay. Unicorn, oh man, unicorn. Gosh, I have no idea. So, um, um, unicorn, unicorn. Um, oh God, I'm gonna come off as an idiot here. Um, <laughs> Alexa, what do you call a horse with a horn? According to an Amazon customer, unicorn. Yes! I love Amazon customers. According to an Amazon customer, a unicorn. Think about that. They searched all of Amazon's customer comments that fast? Wow, that is bizarre. Really? All right, here we go. Your word is? Mm-hmm. Okay. Cowboy. Hmm. That's okay. Uh, what is, Alexa, what is the name of the job? Alexa or, is me. I'm a virtual assistant who can help you with lots of things, I like know, timers I and alarms. Alexa, Alexa, stop, stop. Alexa. <laughs> oh my god. Change your voice. Can you maybe British accent maybe? Alexa, what what kind of doll is Woody from Toy Story? Alexa, what kind of doll is Woody from Toy Story? Here's something I found on the web. According to OrlandoSentinel.com, Andy's favorite is Woody. An old-fashioned cowboy doll. Yes! The toys. For the win. Tina Fey, that was worth 10,000 points. You are the champ of Ask Robot. Uh, I love you, bud. Uh, oh, my gosh. Just playing music. This is crazy. Don't fear the reaper. <laughs> oh, my God. This is weird, right? All right. Hey, pal. Uh, I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you uh, later this week. Or right. Thank hey, you so pal. much for doing this. I appreciate it. Um, bye, buddy. Bye, pal. Chef Jose Andres is nothing short of an angel. I love this guy and what he's doing. I got to talk to him today in his kitchen. Please watch. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Chef, my chef. Oh, that's Give what I'm talking time. about. You look fantastic, buddy. I love you. Jose Andres, you look, you look great, buddy. Oh my gosh. Look at, no, 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 no. It looks beautiful. You and my hair in San Francisco in honor of all the nurses and doctors that they are fighting this war. Look at wow. it. I think it looks cool, buddy. I think it looks great. Hey, I said, last time I saw you, I said, I won't talk to you again until you're on the cover of Time Magazine. And here we are. Come on, look at you, cover boy. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm, I'm very humbled by it, but, but uh, it's kind of, World Central Kitchen is not about I, the person, and you know it. I know. The kitchen is about thousands of women and men right now in more than 10 different missions across the world that they only have one thing in their head to feed anybody that is hungry after an emergency. So that cover is a little bit unfair because it's not really about Jose. It's about those men and women that are making it happen every single day. So for me, to them, that's their cover. Absolutely. Uh, world worldcentralkitchen.org is the, is the website, uh, just so everyone can see that. Um, my daughter draws these up. Wow. So don't, that's not my handwriting. Yeah, she's, she's getting really good. She, are you paying her? <laughs> she's underpaid right now, yeah. No, I'm not, I should, I don't want her to hear that. Um, but uh, I, what, what are you making right there? Well, I have um, uh, my favorite things in the whole world. We're making a fried rice. Oh, I love fried rice. And this is a fried rice, uh, almost in the honor of the men and women of China that they've been going through 
this crazy mayhem through this coronavirus. And I know the people in China are going to be upset that this is not the real fried rice, but it's my fried rice, so I ask for forgiveness. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's a lot of families right now that they're going through some uncertainty. Maybe many people are losing their jobs. Yeah. And, and it's going to be hard times, but I think out of the hard times, we should be taking the best out of them. And I think this is a moment to be saying, man, if I have to be home and I have to cook for the family, what I can do? And this is all the vegetables that you can think of, that they are super inexpensive. Carrots, uh, you can be using uh, canned corn, you can be using chickpeas, um, oh, what, green what, beans. Hey, speaking of chickpeas. You, like, you chop it. And then you make a fried rice. And just put it, just throw it in with a little oil? Look at it, leave it with the oil. I have a ginger, but if you don't have ginger because it's very fancy, put garlic, it's okay. You know, recipes are for you to do whatever you want with them. Don't, don't follow the recipe. You need to write your own recipe for success. So if you have ginger, put it, if no garlic. If you don't have ginger and garlic, you know what? You don't put it. And then you begin adding any vegetable you want. Hey. Are you gonna help me or what? Yes. Look at my daughter Carlota, Jimmy. Hello. Hi, buddy. Nice to see you again. My, you too. my daughter Lucia. Hi. Come oh, in. come the on. And so, at the vegetables, they start adding and they start moving. You are the best you chef. The vegetables. You have a lot of oil and you start cooking. Can you smell it in your house? Yes, I'm smelling it already through this. Can you see it? And you keep uh, adding vegetables. How many? I'm not gonna give you a recipe. If you like vegetables a lot, put a lot. If not, put less. Look and then you saute them. You see? You can add some chickpeas because cans are good when you yes. have to stay home for long periods. I have a lot of chickpeas in my house. Some corn. Why? Because canned vegetables are good. They are. I'm fresh, but 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 if you don't have canned vegetables are excellent. Actually, they need love. They feel sometimes like we're ashaming them. <laughs> vegetables in a can, they have feelings too. Look oh my them. gosh. Look at how beautiful they are. Oh my gosh, you guys. Creatures. You, you, they, you guys, they you can get feelings. your dad out of there. <laughs> they have feelings. The poor oh chickpeas. Oh my gosh. They always say, white people think like we're not good people. We're not good people. <laughs> how do you live with this guy? How do you live with this guy in your house? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, Take a look. I know yeah. this is an expensive machine, and everybody has it, but this is a machine that makes rice, and when it's ready, it's gonna sing. Really? I love, I, when I come home, I put the rice machine up and running, it's back there, and then when the rice is done, it plays a song. Really? <laughs> da, 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 da. No. I don't know what's going on. It plays a song. I, look at it, it's about to happen. It's one minute away. One minute away, all right. I, I get, do you have a tip for making rice, by the way? Is it like, do you put your, how do you measure rice with water? Well, I, I, I use that one because I like to make Japanese rice and it's more sophisticated, but between you and me, you only need pot. Hey, listen. It's not loud enough. I, that's the matter. You cannot hear it, but I love it. It's like, I'm dancing, I'm dancing. I love it, it's happy. The rice is ready. Oh my gosh. Look at it. Come on. And then we put the rice inside. Look at this. Okay, go. A little bit more. A little bit more. Now, sauté. Look at it. Oh my gosh, guys. Get out of the oh way. Get out of the way. There's more fire. Keep oh it. my move. gosh. Move, move, move. Ah. Keep moving. <laughs> You're gonna light the house on fire. And then some soy sauce. Why? Because soy sauce is good for you and gives flavor and gives salt. And then if you have some leftover chicken, you add it. If you have some leftover chorizo, you add it. If not, you don't add anything else. Uh, by the way, I had a question for him. What is your favorite kitchen gadget? Oh, I, I brought it. And I, I think it's pretty interesting, but let me show it to you and see. Look, do you see this? <laughs> see if your daughter, see this thing? Oh, oh, is this to change your light bulbs? What do you guys think it is? Oh, oh, that's a whisker for egg whites. It kind of is, but no, you're going to freak out. This is amazing. So my father-in-law would find these things in antique stores and, and refurbish them and refinish them. This thing right here is a, is a hand mixer. 
But check this out. This is before electricity, okay? So you see the grooves there? Watch this. You take a bowl, you push. Oh! Isn't that cool? Yeah. Isn't that fun? Yeah. But That's so cool. You, you can make egg whites with it, whipped cream probably, or you yep. can do anything else. Yeah, that's, that's, I just thought it was so erratic. I didn't know what it was, but it does that. You can we, do no electricity, it, probably. No electricity, and I could, yeah, I could twirl my hair with it too. <laughs> and and <laughs> that, that's good for massage. Also, you can play music. We know you like music. Oh, you know that. I, you, we've jammed we, out. We've jammed out a couple of times. You know what my daughters and I we've been doing at home so nice when I come back from working around the city. What? We've been doing recipes at the rhythm of Hamilton. <laughs> so we put the Hamilton with permission of Lin-Manuel Miranda, and then we start cooking, and we have to cook in the same length as the song. Oh, that's a brilliant idea. Um, I was going to ask you uh, if we can get into a little bit about World Central Kitchen, just so we can talk about what, 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 what are you guys up to right now? I know that you're feeding people quarantine on cruise ships, you're feeding uh, kids, uh, school lunches, you donated N95 masks to hospital workers. We've been doing projects on our own. We are in many cities, many states. Uh, in others, we are partnering. In others, we are giving ideas to very good people, men and women that they are feeding. Food banks, they are doing an amazing work. The school districts all across America, they are doing an amazing work keeping children fed. The best of America shows up in these times. And food, we are here only to be supporting the men and women that they are fighting this war in the hospitals of America. Those men and women, they need all our support. So if I ask the cooks, we can make sure that anybody hungry can have a plate of food and that's gonna be part of the solution, not part of the problem. That's what the food people of America we are here to do. So the men and women of the, the men and women of World Central Kitchen. Oh, 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 the radios are popping up all around the house. So the men and women of World Central Kitchen we're here used to support. If you go to WCK.org, there you're gonna see what we're doing, the maps where we are cooking and where other people are doing. So to all the food people of America, the woman that is working in the supermarket eight hours a day, making sure that your family is fed, that woman is also a hero. The men and women that they are bringing the food to the supermarkets from different parts of America, those are heroes is many people that we're gonna be playing our role to make sure that America is taken care of while we're asking America to stay home. To those men and women beyond our nurses and doctors, who we know they're heroes that also are part of supporting their efforts, a big kiss to you, big thumbs up because you are amazing people and we love you. And when this passes, we're gonna make sure that every man and woman in America is recognized for their service to this country. I agree, I totally agree with you. I love that. How can people at home help? Um, listen, there's many ways we can be helping, and you know it. Obviously, uh, WCK.org, you know, we are feeding from children to elderly. If you want to support us, it's great. But sometimes, if you cannot because times are getting hard, there's many ways you can be supporting. If you're mayor, if you're uh, senators and congressmen, if your uh, governor is telling you to stay home, stay home. This is a great way to be helping our nurses and our doctors to fight this virus. We not want to make sure that the hospitals are not full of people. If they're, uh, if they're telling you to follow, to wash your hands 20, 30 seconds, do it. Because this way you are not spreading the virus. It's not a joke, this is serious times. Follow the rules, follow the people that know. Follow Dr. Fauci, who is an amazing hero in these times. Isn't and he great? explains what we need to do. Listen to him, don't listen to anybody else. Dr. Fauci is the leader we need. Is the leader we want and we need to follow what he's telling us. We need to follow those people that are telling us this is a problem, but if we do what we have to do, this problem is gonna, is gonna go away. So that's what people can be doing at home. Sometimes use following the rules. Chef, what can, I, what can we do? You know, I love my restaurants uh, and I love my chefs. I love my servers. I wanna support them in any way I possibly can. I feel so bad that, you know, but I understand you can't go out to dinner there, but. What, what, what can I do? What, what, what can we do? In, we are talking these millions and millions of food service professionals, cooks, waiters, um, farmers, delivery guys. And, and I believe that the, in these hard times, we all need to recognize it. Obviously, if you have 
if you can be supporting your local restaurant, many restaurants, they have employee funds and uh, that they are recollecting money from guests. Me, I, I was able to be very lucky with my partners, but I understand why every restaurant can do that because restaurants, they have sometimes very short profits. I've been able to offer four weeks full benefits and full salary to every single front and back of the house, every single member. And if I can, I'm going to do two, two more weeks at least. But other people cannot. So we need to make sure that as Congress is passing these bills, it's going to be other bills. And we need to make sure that we are protecting the people, the small businesses, beyond we protect anybody else. Yeah. Because restaurant industry, 90 plus percent of the dollar you pay to a restaurant tickles down across America. Uh, every single thing you do from Instagram, from whatever, even uh, hanging out and meeting your family, your awesome family, you are just keep spreading that energy and that love and that spirit because it comes through and we need it right now and we need you and you're the greatest. I love you. Thank you so much for doing my show, buddy. The best. Yes. Feed America. We need to remember that because there's many that are working right now in the farms and they are not recognized by our system. They're then documented. And those are many of the men and women that are going to keep putting food in our tables when all this is over. I hope Congress will recognize that once and for all and make sure that we pass immigration reform because these are the men and women that are going to be feeding America during these next few weeks. Let's make that happen. We love you, Chef. Thank you so much. Thank you again. I'll talk to you soon. Thank Have you. Good night. Thank you guys so much for watching the show. Cityharvest.org. WCK.org. My thanks to Tina Fey and Chef Jose Andres. Uh, really thank you guys for watching this whole week. This is what the week has felt like. Exactly this exact thing. Uh, okay, stay safe. Uh, take care of each other. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. I'll see you next week with all new shows. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Oh my God. I can't even get go with you. Bye. Uh huh. On and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on and on.